How to know if your child needs to go to the doctor. Learn which symptoms call for a little TLC and which warrant a visit to the pediatrician. You will need careful monitoring and attention to details. If a child has severe or bloody vomiting, intense abdominal pain, or a stiff neck along with a fever or headache, or if you're at all in doubt as to the seriousness of a symptom, seek immediate medical attention. Step one, call your doctor immediately if an infant younger than three months has a rectal temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, or if a baby older than three months has a fever above 101 that doesn't respond to medicine. Also check out a fever that lasts more than one day in a child under two, or more than three days in an older child. Never give children aspirin without your doctor's approval. Step two, see a pediatrician if your child has an earache and a fever, or an earache so painful it is making them cry. Check out headaches that are frequent, last more than a few hours, don't respond to pain relievers, or are present when the child awakens. Earaches can be the result of new teeth coming in. Step three, see a doctor if your child has frequent tummy aches that last more than 24 hours. If the stomach ache is accompanied by diarrhea, a fever, painful bowel movements, bloody stools, or difficulty swallowing or urinating, or if your child is losing weight. Severe pain on the lower right side of the abdomen could be appendicitis. Step four, have your child checked out if they complain of pain while urinating, the urine has a bad odor or is laced with blood, or a long time toilet train tot is suddenly wetting themselves again. Step five, make a doctor's appointment if a rash is extremely itchy, located near the eyes, looks like a bullseye, is accompanied by a fever or sore throat, or has lasted more than three days. Step six, take your child to the doctor if a cold lasts more than a week, or is accompanied by fever and coughing that lasts more than three days. See a doctor if a sore throat comes with a high fever and a headache, or a rash, or if it's independent of a cold or flu. Signs of pneumonia include a fever, shivering, weakness, raspy breathing, a wet cough, chest or abdominal pain, and loss of appetite. Step seven, call the doctor if a child's vomiting is accompanied by a fever or if they're under two years old and have been vomiting more than 24 hours, 48 hours if they're over two. An infant who is projectile vomiting should be taken to the ER immediately. Step eight, take your child for a checkup if their diarrhea is chronic, gray, and unusually bad smelling or causing severe dehydration. Did you know? Ear infections are the number one reason parents take young children to the doctor.